I have learned uh, a lot of things about myself while working uh, with my group uh, member in undertaking the project and also found that I am capable of achieving almost anything if I put my soul and heart into it. I myself is surprised in testimonials at the quantum of skills I acquired in this competition. Each and every one of us, uh, of us have the spark of being innovative in our own time. It's just like we wait for the opportunity to showcase our talent and uh, luckily I got this opportunity with the help of EYC competition. Nowhere else we get this kind of exposure of learning through various industrialists and entrepreneurs and uh, and the way they taught us to convert our pr uh, prototype into a product. Uh, this competition is the whole package of developing the students into an innovative entrepreneur. So, I, uh, lastly, I could say that EYC is not just a competition, it is the place where the engineering minds are molded into young entrepreneurs. So, uh, these students are so trained or so knowledge now. Now their approach is changes from uh, means curricular is the part of their syllabus, so they have to do. They are doing in their way, but when they are participating in such competition, so what will happen now? First, they um, the confidence level of that something, whatever the knowledge we have learned, we are able to apply that knowledge and we can able to solve that confidence level, which we can say uh, is increased or which I have found it out in each one of them. We initially had uh, many product ideas like uh, project ideas we should go with this or go with that. So finally coming to a conclusion for this prototype was quite uh, you know research based. So it helped us to grow like uh, our self esteem that we can okay we can research and we can finally come to a conclusion or reach to a conclusion that we can actually do this. Uh, the student is working on that LoRa uh, technology. That is also the new technology, we can say. They are not already aware about this technology in their curriculum. This is the technology with communication. Uh, that we are also the new to this, uh, doing or implementing. So that help us even for me also, that we can uh, do the project in communication also. Even I get the confidence that we can uh, even uh, implement such kind of communication project. Uh, when we planning to do, we are also facing the, uh, lots of difficulty, but uh, with the help of Eantra team and the, uh, doing some research work, we are able to tackle that obstacle and we are able to establish the communication between uh, first responder and victim. So that I can say that is we can satisfied to me <laughs> as a mentor, as a team that we are able to implement. So that really get uh, satisfaction is more than we can say, whatever the prize or whatever the victory we are getting. When I tried uh, testing the components, uh, because it happens sometimes, uh, you uh, burn out components, make wrong connection. For testing, if you research more about the components, uh, what will be operated on uh, in, in condition which can affect your uh, final product situation in which we uh, you will be using the product uh, that all uh, scenarios are to be considered before uh, choosing the material the distance that you can uh, the communication that you can achieve from the LoRa it's a uh, very uh, uh, you can achieve very large distances uh, you can go to very large distance, but uh, you have to be in uh, direct line of sight uh, because if any obstacles come between uh, transmitter and receiver, uh, you may getting some delay in the messages or you will uh, lose some packages or uh, you will not get proper data properly. Uh, when we researched more about it, we got to know Asian continent, India as India comes under Asian continent. But the thing is, ki, uh, uh, India has some different range of LoRa models that should be uh, used. So this happened because we thought Asian continent has this particular range for purchasing the LoRa models. And we were going to uh, means order that uh, LoRa models for our uh, uh, project but uh, by researching further we got to know that India has some uh, other some different range. 
for uh, taking so quantitative uh, research and analysis uh, is very important while making of project we should uh, send the message to respective users and after sending them we should get a uh, acknowledgement i haven't uh, know how to uh, send an acknowledgement uh, how should uh, it should be formatted so that i struggled a bit on that part but after some research i got to know uh, the logic on how to do it and uh, how to implement that on the lora before 6 months i haven't decided that i will be uh, at one point of time i will uh, build a network which with which i can communicate cellular communication or satellite or internet but uh, when i first tested our uh, modules and first i received the message uh, that that gave me a different uh, uh, level of no problem the project best learning the thing the, or learning by doing the things is they remember forever once whatever they have uh, learned in doing this journey now i guarantee you they lifetime experience for them also <laughs>